So to create a timer, all we need to do is get ourselves the text tool and we want to left click on the screen and type in zero colon zero zero. Now, in order for this to work, we need to first of all, get ourselves an effect called slider control. And this will allow us to control the time and we can set the timings of it. So you just want to drag and drop this onto your text layer and then you want to open up your text. So in order for this to work and in order to create a timer, we're going to create an expression. And to do this, we're going to hold Alt or Option key and then left click on the stopwatch to open up the expression box. Now, you don't have to actually do this because if you scroll down on this video, you can just simply copy and paste the expression into this expression box right here. So you just want to press Ctrl and V, paste it into here and then left click off of this. Now to quickly explain this and to quickly simplify it, it's really simple. The first line of code will tell the timer to remove any decimal places and it will round off all the numbers to a whole number. The one underneath this will reset the seconds once it hits 60. And then the one underneath this will hold the left side until this one hits 60. So once it hits 60 seconds, it will move on to a minute. The one underneath this one will add a zero in front of any numbers lower than 10. So for example, if you had seven, it will be zero seven rather than just seven. And then the final one is all to do with the format. So this will just simply add a colon in the middle. It will add the minute on the left and the seconds on the right. So now that we've quickly explained it, all we need to do now is move this timer a little bit further down. And we can also center align this by pressing control Alt and Home, and then you just want to center align the text right here. Now, at the moment, you will notice you get this error right here, and nothing is going to happen. And the reason why this happens is because this code will require us to go up to File, go down to Project Settings, and we need to use the old expression engine, which is the legacy one or the extended script. So you just want to left click on this one go ahead and press OK. And now you will notice you have two zeros on each side. So once again, we're just going to press Control, Alt and Home, and then just center align this in the center. And all we need to do now in order for this to work is to simply go onto the slider and we just want to move the slider control over to the right or over to the left. So for example, let's say that you wanted to create a five minute timer. We would first of all go to the composition, go down to the settings, and we would first of all make sure that it is five minutes long for the duration of the project. You would then go ahead and press OK, and we would first of all set this number to 300. We would then press the stopwatch, and then we would open up the effects and then the slider control. So once you've got yourself the first keyframe, we would go all the way to the end of this video and then get ourselves another keyframe by typing zero in the text box right here. Go ahead and left click off of this. And now if you have a look at this, it will start counting down from five minutes. And that is how you create a timer in After Effects.